technology is something that keeps revealing its magic every day in a new manner. Something that tells you that there is a lot you are yet to witness in the world, perhaps even outside this world. What is it that intrigued you in technology lately? Let us know in the comments section below. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to learn more. Today's video is about an attempt to learn the world outside this one even better. The darkness of space may now be brought to light with this collaboration between NASA and Elon Musk through something called the Lightspeed Engine. Let us have a look at what it is. This technology is said to be able to defy physics. So, what is so novel about it? How effective will it be in ensuring that it reaches the target it needs to achieve? Will it be a good fit for the industry? Questions on the legitimacy of theories related to the world beyond the sky are never ending. To make it all even more challenging, a leap involving such huge sums of money towards something which may or may not exist comes back with the question of if the set amount should be invested for better purposes. What we know today is that the world may be a lot more than what we see through our naked eyes. Elon Musk is known for his ambitious steps. Perhaps this time, he has been able to get the attention of Uncle Sam. Elon Musk has been able to take SpaceX into a collaboration with NASA, an organization that is appreciated by the entire world and is known for its missions in the past. Considering the fact that SpaceX was provided with the contract to build in a rocket that will take humans to the moon for the second time since Armstrong and his mates, it looks like the government is liking the getting things done attitude that Elon Musk has. What we saw recently is, as a matter of fact, even better and bigger than all that they have achieved so far with NASA. Scientists have recently been able to work at something better than the regular propellants being used to date. We know that you may be expecting something, like a more volatile fuel or something which can burn faster while producing more thrust, but the answer is nowhere near that. The new propellant found by scientists is perhaps related to electricity, so that means that the thrusters here on could be motors configured to lift off from the Earth's atmosphere. But how will it take into consideration the escape velocity necessary for any object to get out of the Earth's atmosphere? And perhaps even more importantly, how efficient will this be? One of the primary sources of power these days is methane. This change in itself was revolutionary, considering the fact that we've been using kerosene for quite a long time. But will we be able to see an altogether new way of powering the rockets through electricity? Both of the methods that we've been using to date are certainly very messy in terms of storage and handling. What we need now is a more efficient way of getting things done, something which uses less space and is easier to handle. Electricity, therefore, is the best answer. A rocket during its launch may consume 11,000 pounds of fuel per second, so this means that unless the rocket carries a huge tanker of fuel, the chance of expanding through further exploration of space is very limited. This makes finding a better way of powering the ship an extremely important task. To add a cherry on top, the new engine will also be able to travel at the speed of light, which was the reason for it to be named the light engine. Let us take a step back and look at one of the other attempts they have been making. They call it the Raptor engine. It was claimed that a Raptor engine may be used in the Starship, which is one of the biggest ships to have ever been constructed at 120 meters in length. It has 33 Raptor engines, producing a total thrust equivalent to 500,000 pounds. The project is close to completion, with fine-tunings taking place over multiple tests and results. Even though the rocket using the Lightspeed engine will not be as huge as this one, it has a bigger goal to achieve. That is, to harness the power of electricity, even for space exploration. But if you remember correctly, we spoke of something that defines physics, and motors with propellers do not really defy physics. So, what was that all about? Let us get to that. It is a fact, not new to you, that a rocket working on chemicals makes use of Newton's third law of motion. That is, every action has an equal and an opposite reaction. Every rocket designed by SpaceX follows this law, including the Starship. The main cause of this law being followed in them is the production of thrust. In other words, the force that sets the rocket into motion. The fuel used for this purpose, which is methane these days, as we discussed earlier, is mixed with oxygen and ignited externally after being channeled through the nozzle. This makes sense and is easy to understand, even for a layman. In the Lightspeed engine, however, the process is significantly different. This engine makes use of microwaves to produce thrust. Let's get to a bit of detail. When bouncing electromagnets are contained in an enclosed container to be further cooled to extreme negative temperatures, they become volatile as soon as they're brought into contact with some electricity. However, this happens only for a few nanoseconds. 
This volatility is what causes the production of thrust. Another milestone that they achieved while working on this technology is that they made sure that the electricity being used for this purpose is solar in nature. Now coming back to the process of producing relevant thrust for the rocket, they channeled this vibration toward a single direction. This will be opposite to the desired traveling direction, just the way it is in regular engines. So virtually, except for the ions, there would be no moving parts in the entire system. Let's have a different approach to understanding this to make it a bit easy. The new engine will vibrate the ions in a coordinated manner, to be more precise, in a loop. They continue doing that to create the desired amount of thrust through the change in direction, back and forth, ultimately leading to the creation of thrust. But how much energy would this new engine require to get it done? The answer to that question is a total of 165 megawatt for every kilogram of mass. What do the experts have to say about it, you ask? Considering the fact that this system could be extremely resource intensive, there were initial speculations that it may not even be accepted by the ones on top. However, to add to our excitement, various experts, including David Goodwin, the program manager of the U.S. Department of Energy, stated that this could be very promising that it has been fully discerned, that it is capable of providing power to send spacecraft faster and faster than any chemical rocket can ever do. It was noticed that back in 1990, a project which aimed at developing a propulsion mechanism that rules out the need of propellant was completely overseen. The idea was also showcased by Robert Shonier in 2001. The term EM drive was brought in by Robert back then. This was later researched and tested multiple times by China, the UK, and the USA. However, the extent to which it will be applied in the light speed engine is what makes this project extremely important for the entire fraternity of science. So, it can safely be stated that this concept is not something new, just that it has been applied in the right manner with apt investments and the correct channelization by SpaceX. We know of the benefits that it brings. Let us now look at what the critics have to say about it. To start with the least, the critics claim that none of the tests back in 2001 or in 1990 were conducted in a vacuum. Space, on the other hand, has nothing but a vacuum in it. This makes this technology not a proven method, Therefore, not a worthy candidate to be tried on a million-dollar spacecraft. Another set of critics states that the particles in a quantum vacuum cannot be ionized, which means that the entire concept that the light-speed engine has brought is inherently flawed. This is what made NASA rethink the technology. They tested it out for conditions similar to deep space and realized that the critics were wrong. The technology worked very well, even in deep space conditions. This, yet again, increases the expectations we have from this collaboration between SpaceX and NASA. The journey that lies ahead of them is critical. It is even harder now for both agencies now to make sure or to make a call that this development in technology is being used to its true capabilities and is not being overestimated. Elon Musk addresses this and states that such a journey will be dangerous, cramped, difficult, and full of hard work. What are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comment section. Also, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and make sure to turn on post notifications to never miss out on the latest updates.